Saludos amigos, Cash, your president and CEO of Cash International Luxury Real Estate. Hey guys, how you doing out there? Um, I'm coming to you from beautiful Las Serenas, Dominican Republic. I am standing in an area that is slated to be, it's not uh, one of those things, if it will be, it is slated to be, it is going to become, you can see the infrastructure change, you can see it all happening. The center of Las Serenas, the urban center of Las Serenas. It's all going down right here. Okay, right behind me, over here you see this little, uh, tiny little clamada called Mi Cocina. It's a little, little uh, corner store. They got some groceries, got some beers, little things like that. Right here at this intersection, a major, major intersection. When you come in from Santa Domingo, this is, right now I'm standing, guys, at the Atlantic Boulevard. So today's video, I'm gonna be describing this amazing strategic piece of property that we're bringing to market okay enjoy this video stay tuned this one is an invaluable video for you savvy investors with foresight and the ability to go big Hey guys, welcome back. Cash here, president and CEO of Cash International Luxury Real Estate. Guys, we're coming to you from Las Vegas, Dominican Republic. I'm standing here in the center, the soon to be. When I say soon to be, guys, I'm not talking 10 years out, 15 years out. I'm talking a year or a year or less, maybe two years out. This will be the center of town. One of the big issues we have here in Las Vegas is the infrastructure of the actual town. You guys have seen my videos. If you haven't seen the video on that, the figure eight, okay? There's a figure eight designed to the town. It wasn't built for scale. It wasn't built for the mass, incredible development that is going on in this beautiful city. The development's coming. The people are coming. Villas are going up. Pre-construction's going everywhere. It's happening, okay? Because there's so much scalability to the beaches. Uh, there's 26 kilometers of beaches, okay? What does that mean? That means development is going to come. It's not going to stop on the drop of a, of a, on the drop of a hat. Okay, this is gonna continue because Los Angeles is unique in its ecological, its its diversity as far as the beaches, the mountains, uh, the urban environment, the, the, the scalability for growth, its strategic location so close to San Domingo on a beautiful highway that runs straight through. So much, so much opportunity here. So what got left behind was the urban development, okay? The center of town. We don't have a center of town and that is one of the things that has been addressed and the changes are starting to happen. So because there's no center of town here, we have now determined where the center of town is gonna to be. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the center of town. When you say the four corners of Las Vegas, this will be identified as the four corners of Las Vegas. Mark my words on that. That is happening. Sidewalks, and I've done a video. Watch that video, it's an important one. Uh, I'm gonna try to pop the link up over here for you. Watch that video on the boulevard. I'm standing here on Atlantic Boulevard. This boulevard comes all the way from Santa Domingo nice wide lane highway again another video that sh showcases that drive we have thousands of tourists that come in down that corridor from santa domingo if you fly in san domingo you take that atlantic boulevard you take that highway all the way down you come to lost trains now up here okay is where you would turn and go into the city that's about uh i don't know if i'm driving 30 seconds 30 to 40 seconds up here uh you would drive and you go into that the the figure eight the bottleneck of the figure eight okay and that's the issue, and that's where the opportunity lies here. And if you continue, you don't make that turn, you go this way. Guess what, guys? You go all the way into Portillo. You go to Limon. Everybody's talking about Limon, okay? They're talking about some international school coming there. They're talking about all sorts of stuff. Portillo's exploding, absolutely exploding. The all-inclusive uh, uh, princip uh principle is here as well. So this, is, this corridor is just a strategic major corridor. It was built because they had foresight of what's going to happen. This is going to ultimately become your four corners of this of this city. Everything is going to be here. What do I forecast happening here? Again, watch that video. What do I forecast here? I forecast major hotels, more urban living for young professionals, lawyers, doctors, uh, 
uh, people that are working here that are, are professionals, other people that want to scale into Los Angeles but don't necessarily need to be on the beach because they already own property in Florida or Puerto Rico or wherever, and living on the beach is not critical. They want to have a spot here at the right price in the right location with all the amenities here. They can hop in their car or their quad and go to the beach as needed. So that's what I forecast happy here. I also forecast major chains, okay, big box retailers. The uh, this video is for you guys out there. You guys that are watching this video or know somebody that is affiliated with Bravo or Serena or any one of those major supermarket uh, department store type of brands. Guys, this video is for you. Reach out to me right away because today's property is tailor made for a quick upstart for your models. Okay, and you're gonna see that here shortly in this video, so stick around. Just wanna give you a quick bird's eye view of understanding of where we're standing. So for you guys, that's critical. We got loading docks. We got 40, almost 40,000 square feet of indoor space ready to go to be customized to your needs. So this is phenomenal. Uh, the other thing I'm forecasting here, we're gonna see, uh, I think we're gonna see the likes of, you know, whether we like it or not, I know everybody likes to sometimes uh, resist development, and I get that. There's always two sides to that coin. Someone pushing and someone resisting. This is the nature of the beast. Someone likes white, someone, someone likes black. This is what it is. Uh, doesn't make either opinion right or wrong. But what I know is going to happen here because it, it the nature of Los Angeles and the growth and the people coming is we're going to end up with uh, the Wendy's, the McDonald's, uh, there will be the Taco Bell. It'll be on this corridor though. It's not going to be sitting in that figure eight. It's not going to be sitting on the beach. It's not going to ruin those elements, but this is going to be that urban center. Okay. This is that key urban center and that's what this is going to become. Um, and there's no stopping that. So there's also potential for someone that is looking for the right property in the right location and you are an expert franchisee. Uh, you know how to operate those things and you're already dialed in you've already got the licenses for a wendy's or you got the license for taco bell or or even the mcdonald's if you got that again i'm going to show you a great property right now and i'm standing on it right here have a look so right behind me i've got two parcels of land here that can be sold as one or two independent par parcels i got 10,000 square meters strategically positioned right here in the four corners of los Angeles. first piece i'm going to show you is this large triangle chunk of land okay this is so this is the boulevard you see all the frontage you got there okay all that frontage taylor makes this for the perfect opportunity if you are looking at a major uh food retail operation that requires a drive-through okay this is the perfect property for that you've got about 2,000 square meters here tons of frontage easy in and out you got tons of parking that you can put you can easily have access to a drive-through and i do forecast that that will be happening with this land okay so we have this chunk and this is a separate title everything's perfectly clean this land is uh titles are, are are spotless everything is immaculate and ready to go so that's one opportunity with this land okay keep that in mind you could always do that and you could it also could be tailor-made for a small plaza with some stores uh, but I think the perfect uh, the perfect fit is somebody that is looking to open one of those major drive-through operations, uh, food inspired. Okay, that, this is the perfect perfect location. Um, what this property comes with, so it comes with that land, and it also has this massive driveway. So now we're going to look at the second opportunity, and this one I'm speaking to you guys that are, are affiliated with or know anybody at Bravo, Serena, uh, Lila. What are some other major chains that we have? Serena, Supermercado Bravo, Jumbo. So guys, what I'm going to be showing you now, this is the this is the this is the big one. Okay, this one is we're at almost 8,000 square meters. You are set up, ready to go. You are like absolutely set up, ready to go. This is perfect for one of those big box retailers in San Domingo that are going to be coming here. I've heard uh, there was one that came here and made the wrong decision to move in the wrong location. You put yourself in the figure eight. I don't go there. Anybody I know that does not is not a walking distance does not go there because they are stuck in a horrible traffic pattern and accessibility is not there. You cannot access it. So what is required in Los Angeles, and this is critical, what is required in Los Angeles is a big box food operator department store on the boulevard, a big chain to come here and occupy this. This is ready to go. This isn't two, three, four years of process with permits and all sorts of stuff that you have to do to get the infrastructure and approval. This is here, it's it's already grandfathered in, it's ready to go. You come in and you put your designs at work and you get to work and you build it and it is absolutely needed for all of this surrounding area. For all of us, for Casone, Bonita needs it. Uh, 
Poppy, Portillo, Limon, everybody needs that and it's here ready for you. So I just think this is where you guys need to dial in. So I'm speaking to the likes of uh, Bravo, Serena, Lila. What, what other major department store type of operations is this suited for? Uh, Nacional, Jumbo, Sirena. All you guys, okay? We're talking to Nacional, Jumbo, all of these major operators this is the location for you so let's talk a little bit about it I'm gonna show you why why I believe that so strongly and uh, stick around for this whole video I'm gonna do a little bit of drone footage at the end so you can kind of understand the layout and where it's located and all that stuff too okay so have a look right now we have you have all the, the land goes right to this right to this fence here you got the curbs put in okay you got the sidewalk already entered this has been down for several several years so it's already compacted it's ready for a coat of concrete to be put, uh, asphalt or con concrete to finish up this driveway. But guys, I'm gonna take you for a walk. I want you to understand it. Have a look, spin behind you. You can see the driveway, nice wide driveway, two cars, easy entry. This is the thing, this was planned for, this was planned for perfectly. Two wide, wide car entry, okay? Hop behind me and we're gonna go for a walk, okay? So, critical, critical, critical points I'm gonna bring up. You've got your McDonald's here, you got your Taco Bell, whatever it is, okay? Whatever that usage ends up becoming is, it is tailor-made for that. That's why I keep referring to that. Don't hate me because I'm saying that. It's just a natural progression in this space. I know I'm gonna have people saying, uh, screw that, we don't want this, we don't want that. I get it, I understand it, nobody wants it. But it's just the reality of life and they will come because the population is dictating and demanding and that's the issue. So when people are gonna consume it, there's a need for it. The few might not want it, but the masses do. So keep your minds open to that, that's all I'm saying. For everything that somebody says they don't want here, and this is something I get a lot, people will start complaining, oh, too much development, and you guys are pushing too much for Los Serenas. I get your personal opinion is that, and, that's, and I respect it, because I understand that, and I feel the same way. However, you're hard pressed to say that to the person that just got a job there and is now able to provide for his family. To that teenager that suddenly is able to get exposed to corporate America or that way of life and able to suddenly make money and learn the processes and procedures of a of a company like McDonald's okay those things are beneficial to people and they provide for families so before you say oh screw development we don't want it think about the construction workers think about the drywall guys the tile guys think about uh, the people that put up these fences think about the people that trim the bushes all those people that's employment and that's an emerging market so don't get caught up please in your first world mentality of this has to stay the way it is forever because all you're doing is suppressing the emerging market the population here they want opportunity just like you got and just like your family has okay so let's keep moving here all right guys so I just pointed out the driveway to you let's keep moving and I want you to see exactly how grand this is uh, walk with me walk and talk so you can see the driveway it's a nice wide driveway easy for two cars the thing I'm gonna point out to you is uh, for those major supermarket chains what we have here is you have a separate area for a loading dock okay I'm gonna point that out to you as well you have a separate area we're able to the trucks are able to pull the trucks are able to pull straight in here full ability to turn around a semi truck and pull pull right in deposit all the all the goods that need to be dropped off turn around and leave it is a perfect setup so that is your back of house where everything comes in nothing like this exists in lost trains by the way if you're looking nothing nothing and i mean nothing exists like this pull in there that what you have for you savvy investors you need to understand this you now have i'm coming into the parking area you can if the right operator takes this over okay if the right operator takes this over this area can be turned into a parking lot as well if it is a big enough retail we probably got like 150 uh, 150 ish kind of spots here that was my rough math uh, uh, include that you have tons and tons of parking that you could implement into the space uh, if needed now what this plaza has there's a structure here already which is phenomenal look at this plaza turn around and have a look so what we have here is you have one two three, four, five storefronts. You've got a major entrance to a supermarket or a big box retailer. And then you have six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Guys, you have 10 storefronts. I'm gonna show you those right now. Let's walk in. And 
then you've got your opportunity for your space in the back. Okay, you've got your opportunity for your space, your big box retail, okay? Serena, Bravo, all of you, this is what it's all about. You wanna enter the Lost Trains market, you wanna be first to the market, this is how you do it. Have a look at these spaces, okay? It's, a, it's basically a white shell, white box, hop in with me. Nice high ceilings, tons and tons of light here. Again, forgive me, I don't have my microphone on, so the sound might be a little off. I totally apologize for that, but uh, I just want to get this content out to you. Um, nice, wide open, full glass. I'd say you're about a thousand square feet here, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 850 square feet for you North Americans. And look at this, you got nice shade, you got nice gravity. All this stuff is in place. Infrastructure's here. Again, have a look at this one. There you go again. Look at nice high ceilings. Electrical can all be put in. It's all plumbed in. It's all ready to go. We're going to have a look at this one as well. We're going to have a look at all these really quick. Got another one. Three. Look in that window. Four. And five. So, these are ready to go. These are ready to be rented. Uh, it's a white shell, ready to be painted, uh, run your electrical, get that all set up, and you've got a prime time location right here. Uh, now, I'm gonna freeze you right there, pause for a second, and have a look here. This is your entrance that you can custom make for your big box retailer. Have a look. I'm gonna have you slide back there a little bit. So there's your entrance. Your entrance is right here. Nice big wide entrance. It's all set up uh, for you. We're gonna head in there in two seconds. I want to take you this way for a second. And I want you to see the other uh, other five storefronts. These can be, these can be combined into one storefront. Uh, combined two, but these are larger. Now these ones are about, I would say you're at about 1,200 square feet for that storefront. Probably down to about 900 here. Here's number eight. Here's number nine. And there's number 10. Okay, it's number 10. So there's 10 storefronts here. There's actually let me see, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's actually 11. This is an entranceway into the separate space. Now, a unique thing with this property, uh, if you're interested, uh, is this has been also rented out to movie studio companies, okay? The Dominican Republic is has a huge, huge initiative. I'm gonna share a couple links here. Huge initiatives uh, where they're offering 25 to 50% uh, rebates to production companies. So this is a hub for uh, for the movie industry right now. It is a big, big hub because you have access to all these natural environments, mountains, beaches, different beaches, city landscapes. And they are utilizing this property. Netflix actually just util utilized this property as a spot to do production. I'm gonna show that to you really quick. The lights are on in there. This thing, this space was transformed completely into a movie production uh, studio, okay? So that's a bi big opportunity. Reach out to me, I can explain more of that to you too. So let's go, let's hop in the space that I am calling the, the space that I'm calling the uh, Opportunity for Bravo or National. Lila, what do you think? Who do you think is gonna take this? What's your prediction? Maybe National. Okay, so Lila thinks this is gonna be National. She thinks National, that's her foresight. She thinks National will be right here at some point in the future. I think it might be Bravo. So let's see, let's see who's right. All right, so back back up behind me and have a look, guys. You're going to be blown away. Look at what we have here. This is one part of the space. This is massive. This is just one side. I have three things to show you. Come with me. Beautifully high ceiling, steel structure, steel beams throughout, solid concrete structure. When I mean solid concrete, absolutely solid concrete structure. Okay, look how large it is. Back in that corner was set up for some freezers. Okay, you're seeing the back side. 
of those small commercial spaces. You have this massive space right here. I'm gonna turn this around. There's no lights in here, there's no electricity, but this is office space right here. All set up, ready to go. You can see exactly how it's set up. Huge office spaces uh, that overlook, this would be your, your area for your corporate center. You would have all of your administrative staff in here and they can oversee this massive space. This is where your back of house would be. This is where everything gets stored. This is where the trucks, look at the loading dock. There's a massive loading dock right there. Loading docks would be set up. Trucks could pull right into here. You could have your forklifts going, all that stuff, and everything could be stored right here in this huge space. I'm gonna say this space is about 7,000 square feet right here. You got 7,000 square feet here. You got this. So you got 7,000 square feet right here. You're coming into this space. This space now has another, I would say, 15, maybe 20. We're probably 20,000, 30,000, 25,000 square feet here. And here's the kicker. On the other side of that wall, that's just drywall. That's just drywall uh, and two by fours. And that was put up by the movie studio. Okay, the movie studio, they rent that space, they redid it. That's why you see air conditioning units. The movie studios actually put air conditioning units in to cool that space because they set up all of their cameras, their entire crew. Literally, you have to take your shoes off to go in there. This door usually opens up, but I believe it's closed right now, so we're gonna go on the other side of this wall. Walk with me. Stop and look. You need to see this one more time. Lila's talking to National, I'm talking to Bravo. Guys, this is where you need to be. And I don't need to tell you guys, because you're, you're a smart group of people in, in the corporate world here in the Dominican Republic. Las Vegas is the market that you need to enter. And th th that person who enters, I know we had a uh, super pola in the center of town. It's just, uh, it's inconvenient. If you live here and you're visiting and you're going to Portillo, that is just completely inconvenient. It makes no sense. Uh, this is where you need to be. Hey guys, Cash here, president and CEO of realestateinlostrenas.com. If you like what you're seeing here today, please remember, like, subscribe, and share this content. All right guys, so now uh, I took you guys inside. Now I'm gonna show you another part of the interior space. All of this can be one big space. What I'm gonna show you here, and this, this is, uh, I've had multiple movie uh, producers, movie companies reach out to me uh, and utilize this space, okay? One of the big reasons, and I'm gonna be sharing that with you again, and I was explaining to you before, there's massive tax credits available for people that are producing movies we recently had this rented out this space that i'm going to show you uh was rented out by a netflix production it's a production that's going to be coming out in uh i think next year and i can't say the name because of privacy issues so uh but this space gets rented out by movie production companies all the time because there's no space like it anywhere in las serenas okay las serenas is a very strategic spot for filming movies we had brad pitt here recently uh we had sandra bullock uh, Ch Chatham Tatum, we've got all these big, uh, Jennifer Lopez, all these big, big actors have been here filming movies because the landscape is so vast, okay? You've got mountains, you've got multiple beaches, all different kinds and flavors, you've got uh, urban environments, you've got farmland, you've got all these really cool areas that uh, you have access to, that movie production companies have access to. Because of that, this is becoming a hub for filming, the Dominican Republic overall. Then you add on top these massive tax credits up to 25%, 50%. All these tax credits and these incentives are is making the Dominican Republic and Los Angeles specifically a spot where everybody's coming to film movies. So if you're a movie producer and you're out there looking for space and you're trying to figure out where to uh, call home for a couple months to film, this is a great spot because it, we can fully secure the entire space. You, people bring in their generators, they bring in their, uh, their changing rooms and all those uh, Hollywood elements of doing a movie production. You can bring all that, you can do it all on site, keep everybody here. Uh, we've got space if you wanted to create a little, uh, some uh, private areas for your staff to hang out. You can utilize any one of these rooms uh the, the storefronts for those purposes you can set up right here was a control center that was set up so it's a it's a perfect spot and it's been used for it now what i'm going to show you is this inner space head in with me 
I, the space is just phenomenal. Now this entire room, you can see exactly how large it is. This entire room was converted into a full out, a full scale movie production studio. Okay, there was probably 50 cameras set up, trusses everywhere. Uh, all of this was stark white. You had to take off your shoes at the door when you entered. There was a stage set up. It was truly something that was phenomenal. Uh, they came in, they set it all up. Uh, it was here for two, three months, and then they tore it all down and they left the space, okay? Uh, but the space is available. Hence, the big air conditioning units. They're able to drop the temperature in here. I'm gonna have you guys stand right there because I want you to get a feel for how big this space is, okay? Look at this, the ceiling heights. Uh, we probably got, I don't know, we're at 30 or 40 feet up there for the ceiling heights. And guys, you can see how far I'm able to go here. Look where I'm at. So this space is just massive. Now this wall is just drywall and two by fours. That's all that is. That means that you are able to remove that. We were on the other side of that wall earlier and you have a massive department store. This is the perfect space for, as I'm saying guys, as I'm saying, the perfect space for a department store and it's needed here in Las Trinas. It is so desperately needed. You cannot get yourself tied up in that figure eight of the downtown. Infrastructure is not equipped for that. So I want you to see this space as well, okay? So movie studios, if you're looking, this is the spot, reach out to, uh, reach out to me directly, send me a WhatsApp, we'll get you the prices, let you know what it's all about and get you coordinated for this. Um, let's hop back into the department store, the major, uh, the major uh, opportunity that exists here. And I'm gonna show you more of the land, okay? So this is, I'm gonna show you in the back. Now, now one thing here, this, this property is available for, for a long-term lease to a, uh, uh, an A tenant, or the property is available for sale as well, okay? Let's head, I want you guys to see exactly how much land we got back here. So look at the space, okay? So all of this land is available as part of this parcel. We've got about 10,000 square meters, okay? All of us got some banana tree sitting over here. You can see the size of the structure, solid concrete structure, solid, solid concrete. It's all here ready, okay? So you're able to really expedite your business plan, your process of getting something built. All of this space up until that tree line all along here is all available. You're able to drive through on the side over there, additional parking, additional storage. Uh, Guys, the space is ideal for the usage that I believe it's going to be used for. Now, again, as I repeat, this is available for sale, okay? And also available for rent. This parcel where this structure is sitting, you probably have about a 1.5 to $2 million just in structure, in concrete and steel here solid steel beams running through this entire structure. So guys, there's two parcels of land here that are strategically located in the new, going to be the center of this city here in Las Serenas, okay? It's gonna be the center point for Portillo, for Cason, for Bonita, for Lamon. This is where it's gonna happen and this is where you need to open your department store, open your grocery store. It is absolutely strategic and that's why we're bringing you this video and that's why we're bringing you this property, okay? There's two parcels of land. One is that triangle piece I was showing you earlier and then there's this parcel. This parcel with this structure which has been valued at 1.5 to $2 million in steel and concrete uh, and infrastructure that is in place. This is, this is going for 2.6 million, okay? So all of this, including the structure, including this chunk of land is running 2.6 million, okay? So we truly believe this is a, a golden opportunity what i'm going to show you here really quick guys uh before we end the video is i want to show again for your department stores and your major uh major grocery store chains you come in off the main road i want to show you the loading dock you can see it from the inside i pointed it out but i want to show you from the outside you're able to have access you come down this driveway you can have a look you pull straight in delivery trucks pull straight in and we head right back they come right back in this private area enough space to do a full turnaround, okay? You can do a full turnaround. They back, back the truck right in. You can see where the, uh, the vines are growing over there a little bit, okay? All of this stuff is being cleared out. You back the truck right into there and you've got the, the, the perfect infrastructure already in place. If you were to 
try to find a piece of land in this location, which number one, and this is, this is where the opportunity lies. Number one, you're not going to find a large piece of land like this in the center of town ever again. When you look at the drone footage at the end, you can see how large this land is, okay? So to be able to find this land ever again in the center of town is an impossibility. Uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is you've also now got a $2 million structure that is sitting ready to go as a commercial plaza, okay? You've got a commercial plaza here, you've got 10 storefronts, and you have this chunk of land that I've described to you, the usage, usage that I believe it's perfect for. It could either be your fast, uh, your fast food drive-through franchise right here, or it could very easily be additional parking. So guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I want you guys to really understand all the potential usage for this, uses for this property. I want you to understand how strategic this property is. Uh, I, I want you to reach out to us if this is resonating with you, okay? Short-term usage, movie studios, guys, you're always looking for spaces. This is the space for you, okay? This is where you need to do that stuff. Those are short-term uses. Uh, it's for sale and it is also available for long-term leases with A tenants, okay? We're talking to you Nationals, Bravo, all of you big players in the DR, this is the perfect spot for you. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I really appreciate you guys joining us here on the channel. Remember guys, like, subscribe, and share. This channel is all about entrepreneurialism. It's about owning real estate. It's about diversification, lifestyle, and loving where you live, okay? It's on the back of this shirt. So it's all about love where you live. Uh, this one is one of those love where you work, okay? This town is exploding, Los Angeles. The country is exploding. GDP growth is through the roof as North America is declining and GDP growth is dropping and inflation is increasing. The opposite is happening in this country. So guys, uh, if you're out there and you're watching this video, reach out to us. If you're ready to invest in this country, follow our footprint. We'll take you from A to Z. We'll teach you the entire gamut. Uh, we'll introduce you to our Love Where You Live network of professionals, including lawyers, doctors, trainers, doc uh, uh, architects, constructors, all of those things we have access to now and we have proven and tried relationship with these people. So we'll give you access to that. We'll give you access to amazing deals, amazing properties, amazing opportunities like this one. Uh, all you gotta do is send us a WhatsApp and myself or my team is going to guide you the right way. We're a boutique brokerage catering to you North Americans. And uh, it is, it would be our pleasure to help you out. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe and share. And remember guys, life is too short. Love where you live. If you don't, it's time to hop on a plane and come and see us and let us show you what it's all about. Take care guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is a very unique property that is perfectly situated in a booming city called Las Serenas, Dominican Republic. So if you are looking for an opportunity to showcase your premier brand, whether you are a Bravo or you are a National or any other major big box department store or grocery store this is the location this really gives you a good scale of how how large the property is look at how much ground that covers on a strategic corner in Los Angeles. you can see how the traffic that is the boulevard atlantico you can see the cars going back and forth there you take that road to the right and you're going all the way out to portillo and towards the all-inclusive resort over there that also gets you out to el limon and that is such a major artery that is going to position itself to be the center of town. Quick pan here, you can see out there Casone, you can see Playa Bonita, all the way out to Casone, you can see all of the neighborhoods that surround it. There is so much development everywhere where you see land that is pulled up or scraped is a development happening. The boulevard itself, again, I encourage you to watch that video that I did, the boulevard itself is undergoing a massive change you can see how large Las Vegas is we are growing at such a quick pace that it is absolutely essential the need is there and we are going to have one of those major department store chains or grocery stores strategically positioned right there on that piece of land that you're looking at okay the structure is there there is 
a few million dollars in concrete and steel already there in a structure that is ready to be renovated and built to suit the needs of anyone that is looking to expand into this market. So this property is, as I mentioned, it is for sale, but also for rent to a AAA tenant. There is the option of purchasing the entire 10,000 square meters, or you can buy it in two separate chunks. The triangle that is closer to the road, that would be great for a fast food chain. And separately, you could buy the building. So guys, reach out to me if you're interested in this property. It is a great opportunity. You will not find a better piece of land, better suited for commercial big box retail development. Thanks guys, and talk to you soon.